Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Nams World. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button because I post the videos related to job updates, tech updates, career related tips and free courses and many more. So you can check out my videos here. And also I am posting the videos related to Google AI agent. So please check it out. And if you want to complete your assignments, you can just follow my videos. And to stay notified, just click on the bell icon. So without further delay, let's get into the video. So in this video, we will discuss about day 2 assignments of 5 day AI agent intensive. So here is today's assignment that is complete unit 2 agent tools and interoperability with the model context protocol. So I have already uploaded the videos of uh, assignment 1, 1A. So please check it out if you haven't. And I will also post other assignments also. So if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe and on the bell icon because when I post the videos, you will get notifications. So you can complete the assignments easily. Okay. So what you need to do here is uh, firstly, you need to listen to the summary podcast episode for this unit. That is just click on this. You will be redirected to the podcast. So this is the podcast. You can just listen to this. Or if you don't want to listen to this. Just go. Day to assignment. Just, uh, you can read from here. So here you can find a PDF. You can read from here. Okay. If you don't want to listen to the podcast. So in this to today's video. We will discuss about. Uh, explore new ways to add tools. That is 2A. We will discuss about day 2A today. And before going to this, just verify your phone. Make sure you are verifying your phone. I have already uploaded a video on that. That is setup guide, uh, a video named setup guide. So go check it out. And so let's see how to do day 2A today. Just click on explore. You will be redirected to the page. That is day 2A agent tools. So what if your AI agent could actually take action instead of just replying to your prompts? That's exactly what we are learning today. How to give your agent real world powers using agent tools. So in this video, we'll learn what are agent tools and why they are important. How tools help your AI agent perform actions. How to use the agent development kit that is ADK to connect tools and what's inside the day 2a Kaggle notebook and a quick walkthrough on how to run and understand it. So far in day 1 we created our first AI agent using Gemini. It could think and respond but it couldn't do anything. Agent tools change that. Think of them like extensions or apps that your agent can use like a calculator, a web search or a database reader. With tools your agent can now perform actions such as fetching real data sending emails, running code, or even interacting with other APIs. Basically, we are moving from just chat to real work automation. So here, they gave something like, please read. So first point is, no submission required. So you don't have to submit anywhere. And don't run the cells at a time. Means there will be a run button. Don't run all the cells at a time, okay? So now, as we did in our previous video, just click on copy and edit. Then you will be redirected to an editor where you need to re edit and run your code. So before even going here, first we need to create the API key. So in the previous video, I have already said how to create the API key. Go to Google and click Google AI Studio, then select Google AI Studio. So then click create API key. So here give your key name. If you haven't it. Then click on select a project. Then click on create project. Now give a name to your project. So as I already did. Just I am giving as a dummy project now. Then click on create project. After giving that. Click on create project. Then click on create key. So your key is ready. Now you can just copy them. Copy that key and paste in that page. Okay. So keep this key as secret because it should be used only by you. So any other people should not have access to this. Okay. So copy it somewhere safely. 
now come here and click on ads on then click on secret so see so now click on add secret which is at the bottom so you'll get something like and scroll down so here copy paste exactly what is there here that is google api key and just paste paste it here and here you need to enter the value of your key your secret key you need to enter it here and make sure you are exactly copy pasting this here because many are facing the errors so after click uh, giving the value just click on save you get something like this just click on just check this okay so you are all set to go and some some of you are getting error like this right authentication error this is because if you don't get uh, when you are performing this action if you don't get this box then you will get this error previously i haven't uh, like uh, I, it was not showing like this then i ran this code so i got this error so don't do like that okay so if you get like this only then you're done with it okay now run it again so you will get something like set up an authentication complete then import adk components just run it It will take uh, some time. So keep patience. It will take nearly like uh, some of them is taking three to four minutes. So keep patience. So ADK components imported successfully. Now run the helper function. So until you get a helper functions defined. This one is configure rate retry options when working with LLMs. You may encounter transient errors like rate limits or temporary service unavailability. Retry option automatically handle this failure by retrying the request with exponential bank. If you are getting any errors, then you can just run this code. Otherwise, no need. Tools. So building custom function tools. How to define a tool? Go through these. Then run this code and this code so you'll, you'll get something like free lookup function created then for get exchange range just run this you'll get something like exchange rate function created then we need to create currency agent with the custom tools click on that currency agent with a custom function rules and just run that code so after running the code we are getting the error so what to do in this case so previously i said when you get an error run that code right so scroll up you'll find the code that is configure retry option run that code and come back to the error code and rerun the code So here is the code which we got error so run it so now you won't get any error so if you get any error just follow that method okay so now we got the output here you can see so next we need to test the currency so again there is an error here so let's run that code So whenever you get an error, just come here and click this and then go back and run it again. So even though you get the warning here, you will get the answer also. Okay. So this is something uh, don't care about this warning. See, you got the answer for your question. Okay. So llm is not uh, best in calculations so that's the reason we are using python here so in the next step we'll use the python and we'll go with the code okay calculation so here we'll be using the python code because llm is not good with it 
So here we will be using the python code because LNM is not good with it. After running this code scroll down and run the enhanced currency agent code then you will get the output like enhanced currency and if you get the output only it is uh, successful and next run define a runner after that run test the enhanced agent again you will get some set of warnings in that case what you need to do go back again and run the configure retry option code then come back and rerun the code now just rerun the code again So see you are done with it. So whenever you get go with that process. You will get the precise result. But in the LLM which you ran before you won't get the precise result. Okay so next. So after that run this code show code show python code. And just go through these like section 4. Just read this then. You are all done. Congratulations. You have successfully learned how to build agents that go beyond simple responses to take intelligent action with custom tools. In this notebook, you learn these. So, if you want to explore more, you can go through this. So, this is about 2A, that is agent tools. So, in the next video, I will explain about 2B. So, in the assignment, you can see here, we have just completed this. Now, in the next part, we will go through this. So, stay tuned for it. Bye-bye.